What's up, Ball State? I'm Charlie Desadier back in the Sports League studio with the latest episode of Chirp Central, presented by Victory Honda of Month. We start this week with women's golf, who had a record-breaking tournament down in Lake Jovita in Florida. On Tuesday, they set the 54-hole tournament record, finishing with a school record of 882. The previous mark was set in October of 2013. The Cardinals took sixth overall in the 15-team field as Morgan Lewis and Liz Kim finished with personal best 54-hole records. Here's a clip from Kim's POV. Take advantage of the free time that I've had. I've definitely gotten more into um, my major and got more involved academically. I'm on two research projects this year and um, I get to work with professors that I probably wouldn't have been able to fit in my schedule if I was in season. So um, getting, being able to be mentored by um, people outside the world of athletics has been a really good experience for me and I'm really grateful for it, um, even though it came at such an unfortunate time. But uh, getting to be a normal student in a, a not normal time has been um, a really good thing for me. The team returns to action on March 29th through the 30th at Eastern Kentucky. Leading to another school who had a great Tuesday, the women's volleyball team swept Miami behind Kate Snyder's 11-kill performance. After a tough stretch of games, the Cards made a statement last night and looked to build upon this to finish the regular season on a high note. They take on Central Michigan in a doubleheader this Friday and Saturday in Worthen. Gymnastics is prepping for the MAC championship on March 20th. It'll be the first time that freshman Hannah Ruthberg gets to shine on the big stage. Get to know her in this piece from our friends over at Athletics. I picked Ball State because I felt at home when I came to visit here. They had recruited me earlier in my career and then were willing to come back to me after my injury. It was huge that they still wanted me. My whole world kind of came crashing down around me. Gymnastics kind of takes over everything once you like start being very serious about it. On the gridiron, NFL Pro Day is on April 9th, and Sports League will have all the coverage. In the meantime, find out why Ball State is special to the team. Hear from the players themselves in this clip from Nick Lawler. Why Ball State? It's the question we've all been asked. Time after time, year after year. Why Ball State? Here's our answer. When we won the MAC championship, I told him I stuck with you because you made me a promise, and he held that promise. So at the end of the day, I don't know if there's a coach that I'd rather play for than Coach New, and I tell every recruit that. At Victory Honda of Muncie, we know these are uncertain times, but our customers are our family, and we're working to drive that point home. You can now buy or sell a vehicle without ever leaving your house. We want to ensure the safest experience for our customers and associates, so we're bringing the store to your door. Have a trade? Get a complete online appraisal fast, and we'll deliver your new vehicle right to you. Together, we will get through this at Victory Honda. If you haven't noticed already, March Madness is almost here, and our students are already churning out content for the NCAA. Here's a piece produced by Colin Phillips showing off some of that sweet swag. <laughs> Be sure to stay tuned to all of the NCAA's official social media channels for more content produced by the students of SportsLink. There's a lot of headlines in Ball State sports, so let's see what's chirping. Last Saturday, softball turned in a strong offensive performance, scoring nine wins in a win against Samford. Amaya Daniel led the team with two hits and four RBIs. Maxion starts for them on March 26th against Bowling Green at home. 2021 women's basketball signee Allie Becky was named to the Indiana All-Star team. The commit from Brownsburg was named one of the top 14 players in the state as she helped lead the Bulldogs to the 4A state championship game. Her journey with Ball State begins in the fall. Ishmael Alameen earned some recognition on Monday being named second team All-District 14 by the National Association of Basketball Coaches. He was also selected second team All-MAC just before the conference tournament. He finished his career with 1,083 points, and his legacy as a Cardinal will be remembered forever. Women's swimming and diving turned in a solid performance against defending MAC champion Akron. 
Junior Alex Bader won the 100 breaststroke and stellar freshman Marcelo Ribeiro won both the 200 and 500 freestyle events. The card's final regular season meet is on March 27th against Indiana State and Southern Illinois. That's going to do it for us today from the SportsLink studio. From all of us at SportsLink and our friends over at Victory Honda, we want to thank you for tuning in. Chirp, chirp.